Hello everyone, I welcome you back to Let's Play Mario Tennis. Last time I showed off all the courts and we finished off ring shot mode. This time we will be doing the Piranha Plant Challenge. Now I have noticed I've done best, my best chance is probably with Toad. And against, okay, and I should say, if you get perfect on Piranha, on the Piranha Plant Challenge, they give you the Piranha Corn, and look what it looks like. It has a perfect on here. Oh yes, and they change, they have a certain character for every one you choose, and I totally botched that up. But yeah, I think um, actually using this court actually has like stats to give you an uh, easier time on this. And uh, I'll say the rules right now. Uh, basically what you have to do is send the ball back, which uh, it has to bounce on the other side before it touches anything else. If it bounces and she hits it back, it still counts. If it doesn't bounce and she hits it back, then it does not count. If you miss the ball, it does not count. So that's basically what you have to do. Um, uh, I guess I'll restart since there's no reason to do that. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be if it's possible to do this while commentating, but I'm gonna try. But usually to get it perfect, it takes me. Oh god, she hit it back. Usually to get a perfect, it takes me about maybe 30 tries. I'll probably be keeping track of how many tries it takes me here. If it doesn't take that many, then it's obvious how many, but... Um, don't count on that, though. Uh, I'm gonna try out a drop shot, so... She'll get closer. Okay, maybe not. Oh, okay, she missed that by an inch. Yeah, I think uh, another reason it's good to use Toad is because uh, Peach is not the best at returning them. If you play as Mario, I'm pretty sure you go against Bowser. Or it's Luigi. It's either Bowser or Luigi. And she hit it back. God! And uh, Bowser, uh, probably against Boo. It's usually... They put you against a character that you're related to. Like, if you're Baby Mario, they put you against um, Yoshi. And things like that. So there's usually some kind of... Oh, no! God! Connection there. But, uh, I'm not gonna start cutting until, like, maybe 10 minutes. Maybe a little, uh, uh, before that, because I can realize, I realize it gets a little boring to watch, but trust me, it's, it's, it's definitely hard. Oh, yes, and, uh, notice another thing. In the picture of the court, it, the piranha plant has white lips, but, um, those piranha plants that are spitting out the balls, they have green lips. Now the reason is for this is because in the Nintendo 64 area or era, they always used green-lipped piranha plants because it looked better with the Nintendo 64 graphics. I actually did try it with white, but since it's like a this is just like a picture on the ground, it's it's not like 64 bit. It's just a picture, to say the least. But um, the white-lipped piranha plants are what they use in pretty much every single game after this one. Or, no, not really after this one, but after the Nintendo 64. Because, uh, as you will notice, even on Mario 64 and, um, like, the Mario Party series in the Nintendo 64 era, they're all, they all use green-lipped piranha plants. Uh, pretty in- that's- and the fact that they have a white one on this picture here is pretty interesting. Oh, and 25. We're halfway there, as Bon Jovi would say. Because you do need to get 50, and oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on, we got this. If I can get it this soon, that would be amazing. Okay. Come on. Come on. Almost got this. Almost got this. Oh my god. We're at 40 right now. Please tell me I got this. Oh my god. Do I have this? Oh my god. 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 Oh no wait! Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! No! I thought that was the last one because it already said 50 at the bottom! I can't believe that just happened. But, uh, get prepared for more of that. But the fact that I actually got that that time, like I got that close, that's given me renewed confidence. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do much better than I did my first few tries now. The fact that I got it that fast. 
Because honestly, if I would have kept going, like, regardless of the count, I would have had that. If I, like, just did not look at the count, I would have had that. No doubt. And if I do end up getting this, like, pretty early, like, beating this challenge pretty early, uh, I'll probably just put, like, I'll probably go in a singles match against the ace, uh, ace difficulty, uh, player. Because, I mean, uh, it's something to end off on. If this takes- oh, wow, I hit it off. Wow, good job, Toad. Thank you. Uh, maybe if we slice it. Okay, that seems to be working for not going out, at least. Oh, God. And if she does get far out, like, sometimes she'll go outside of the court. Like, she'll stay back there on that brown area, way back there. And if she does that, you can easily just send some drop shots while she's making her way back up. Because she won't, she won't hit those. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Easy. Easy peasy. I mean, I can send another one. Even when she's right there, she's not gonna hit it. Drop shots, uh, the key to this is knowing what shot to use with what character. Because, never lob. Never lob. That's simple enough. Don't lob. Uh, don't smash. N never put, press A and B together unless you're at the net, which is another thing I don't recommend unless you're playing as a relative, like, Yoshi. He's probably one of the better people to play at the net because he has decent reach and decent speed. But I would still not recommend it. And we are halfway there with the Bon Jovi. I actually really like that song. Because it's, it's like the only song that I listen to from anyone that's even re relatively like Bon Jovi. Because that's like the only song I listen to that's in that genre. Although I'm not really sure what genre that is in. Oh god, she almost hit that. Although since she's an incompetent derp, <laughs> this is going a little easier than I expected. So yeah, Toad's definitely my best to use here. Uh, it's probably different, different between everyone and... That's a perfect in only seven minutes. That's really nice, very nice. So that's actually my fourth perfect I've ever gotten on the Piranha Plant Challenge. Much harder than it is on the Mario Tennis Open. If you get perfect on that, don't feel accomplished. I get it almost every time. I still think Galaxy Rally is better. But, to end it off here, I'm obviously going to play on Yoshi. We'll play an exhibition match. <gasps> you know it would be perfect? To end it off on Yoshi's Island. That'd be so cool. Singles, um... You know what? A three-set game. Why not? And we'll play against, uh, Baby Mario. Yeah. Against Intense. I have not unlocked the hardest difficulty, which is beating every single tournament with every single person on singles and doubles. And I, honestly, I don't plan to put in that much time into the game, because that's, um, amazingly weird. And what I could do is show off, like, uh, the records area, which is probably what I'll just do. I'll just, like, probably quit this after the first set has been won. Oh god, he is, he is really owning me, given he is on intense difficulty. I probably should have sent off a lob or something. Ugh, maybe if I, like, get up on the- well, no, net- net camping is not working for me either. Maybe I won't have to quit in the middle of this game. Maybe it'll just go like that. Oh, I shouldn't have snapped. Okay, that messed me up. Okay, this is gonna be a shutout, isn't it? Unless I somehow, like, err! Oh, hey, that actually does work, so that's probably going to be my strategy for this. Get up against the net and get off any kind of shot you can. Oh my god, it's working. Can I beat an intense character? I, I don't think I can, but uh, the moment you say you can't, that's the moment you lose. So here's to hoping, and he totally just did that. He did that in a way that no man ever can. So... Um, since this is near the last, uh, level, I'll pretty much announce what my next Let's Play is gonna be, or what m might be. Thing is, I was planning on doing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, not gonna lie there. But, I need a memory card, and I don't have a memory card to where I can save on it. I could just leave my GameCube on all the time and play through it like that, but, like, w if the GameCube gets turned off, then what do I do then? Because then I'd be... I could, I could play to where I got to, but that would... I don't know. 
do I really want to put that much in? I might, I am, in fact, I might just end up doing that because I want to let's play it so badly. Like, you have no idea. And another thing is, since I'm playing on, on the GameCube, uh, you know, a lot of the games for the GameCube are getting really old and, like, scratched up on everything. And it's starting to skip sometimes. Like, I'd have to take out the disc and put it back in. Kind of like, you know, on the Luigi's Mansion Versus, Tyler had to do that a lot of times. Because I know I know that feel, bro. I mean, my, my Luigi's Mansion doesn't even work anymore. I mean, it's so old. Like, there's no reason to even try with that. But, like, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, it works. So that might be what I'm doing after this. If not, then I'll probably just do another Mario spin-off game. So, like... Feeling the gap. Because I will eventually be doing that before I do any other big uh, let's play. Oh my god, he is completely annihilating me. Because it's. I have gotten. I'm, I've been getting a lot of um, requests lately. Like, by a lot, I mean like five requests for Legend of Zelda games. And Ocarina of Time is what I grew up with. So that's kind of what I want to do first. And maybe sometime in the future, Wind Waker, because uh, those two are my most fluent uh, Legend of Zelda games, besides Link to the Past, and really, that wouldn't be a big project. I'd probably get that done in like five videos or so. Oh my god, he is... I don't even know if there's a reason to try anymore. Oh god, he just ate... I just got aced by a baby. Yeah, advantage to speed characters, especially when you're super... and that's game. So, um, now that we're done with that, we're still only 11 minutes, uh, let's go to our trophy case. So yeah, after this I probably will be doing, um, Ocarina Time. Uh, if not, I will be doing it very soon. So, uh, this is the exhi exhibition, um, hall of stuff, and it shows who you beat, with who, on what difficulty. On the left is what character you use, on the top is what character you use to beat. Or who you beat, and what uh, the little symbol here uh, displays what difficulty you beat him on. If it's a circle, it's medium. If it's a circle with a circle in, inside of it, it's hard. Um, yeah, here's a circle. I just beat um, Mario on normal. Uh, I don't think there's really any other exhibition matches here. On Mario Tennis Open, I beat every single one of them on exhibition with um, on normal with my me because I just needed items. But yeah, if it's like on intense, I think it gives you a, like, uh, I, I don't know. I know if you beat him on pro, which is the hardest, it gives you a star, like a rainbow star. I don't, maybe it just gives you a golden star if it's on uh, intense. I'm not sure. So here's all my trophies on singles. Yeah, I have done all of them. All of them on singles here. And doubles, not not really that impressive. These two and these two. That's the only ones. As you can see, there's no one else. And for trophy and star, um, let's see, singles. I don't think I, I think I've done it with like Toad. Yeah, Toad got it. Mario's got it. Yoshi's got one, and Be Boo's got one. So yeah, doubles. Uh, just that one. I guarantee you. Well, no, no, I got his too. And Mario's. Wow, that's actually more than I have on doubles normally. Well, that's cool. And then, of course, it shows you ring shot records, which is game. Of course, I did it with, um, I didn't even try the unlimited mode with, uh, Yoshi, as you can see. Uh, pretty much I finished them all with Yoshi, and, um, the only other person I've done it with is who I did it with on screen here. Yeah, we got Daisy there. We got, who we got here? We got Koopa and Yoshi. <laughs> Given that Koopa uh, unloaded score is not the proest, proest. And of course, points. We have a whopping 402 with Yoshi here. As you can see. Wait, wait. Oh, wow! I did beat it. What? With Toad. Is that who I used on screen? Oh, it is. Wow. That's actually amazing. 402 and 420. I didn't know I beat it. Well, that's cool. So that's basically everything this game has to offer here. I've shown everything. Uh, music, on or off. Yeah. Stereo, mono, delete all your data. Heck no. Oh, and there is the special games. 
I guess I could explain this. Uh, you can watch demo mode, which is if you're just like chilling in your room, you just want something to watch. Tennis, you don't get tennis, which I don't. You can just put it on demo mode. And then there's ring tournament. Um, they used to do like little tournaments where you could send in your score to them. Like, official tournaments. You put in the password and it, uh, I think one was called like the Donkey Kong tournament and stuff. Or like the GameStop ring tournament. And whoever had the high, sc high score would get like a little prize. But that's like so long ago. That's like 1990s, man. So it doesn't really matter anymore. And uh, that there is every single thing in the game. I have shown it all off. So uh, here's to hoping a good Ocarina of Time Let's Play in the future. And um, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, I guess I'll end it off here. Goodbye, everyone.